How much time would you say you make for yourself every day? Honestly, slim to none. I don't know if I make very much time for myself. I'm always working, I'm constantly going. I was go, 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 and there was no time for me to be in my own mind. As educators, we don't work the typical 40 hours a week. We are constantly grading. We want to make sure we give feedback to our students, and students are so different, especially this year. I'd always worked in some type of construction. Everything was just go, 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 work, work, from one place to another. I had too many things pulling me in too many directions, and it just felt like I couldn't concentrate and I couldn't give my all to anything. And sometimes I feel like I would, uh, I'd kind of forget about the little things. I don't like to be idle. If I have a down moment, I'm helping somebody else. You know, a lot of patients are in the ICU because they are actually dying no matter what we do. I've had times where I've come out of the hospital just crying, and, you know, that's hard. I really love what I do, but sometimes you feel like it's just you're working kind of nonstop. I usually go from work, off to practice, off to something else, and then we'll come home and it's like, quick dinner, let me check your homework, let me make sure you did your homework for one. And it's like, okay, go to bed so that I can get back on the computer and maybe grade or do a little more work. Do you ever find it hard to balance work life, family life, kids? What is balance, <laughs> right? That's, that's as good as it gets. I get to the hospital at 7 a.m. And then I'm there until 7.30, come home, and I'm gonna continue, you know, making dinner and getting everything ready, and then I go back tomorrow. It's just hard, you know, you have to be able to try to let work stay there. I like will go and lay in bed with my kids and just talk to them and let them know that, that I'm, I'm okay and I'm there. But there are times when you come home and you just feel terrible. I'm pretty sure I had stress like anyone else, but I think I was so busy that it just felt normal. If I wasn't sleeping, I just was like, I'm not sleeping, I'm not tired. I think that's such an interesting way of saying it. I think all of us are going through stress and we don't even know that's what it is. I didn't know what it was or I didn't put effort and time to try to understand that. I kind of didn't like being by myself. I was always doing something where I didn't want to be by myself because it felt like being by myself, my own thoughts would kind of get to me. Uh, can we try something together? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'd love to. I'm going to guide you in a short meditation just to help us reconnect with ourselves. Okay. When you get stressed, what changes? Your breath. When you get angry, what changes? Your breath. We experience every emotion with the change of the breath. When you learn to manage your breath, you can navigate any situation in life. How did that feel? It was nice. It just kind of took me to a place of um, peace and a place that I enjoy. I feel like that's the most I've sat still for a while, but it was really nice. I think I was on the verge of tears and it just helped me process emotions. Just to sit there in stillness and focus on it and not be thinking about everything else, that feeling like I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, put that away. Thank you for doing that with me. No, thank you. I have one last thing I wanna show you. Sure. Can I show you? Yeah. You may recognize this person. Hi, honey. First, I just want to say how much I love you, um, how unbelievable you are. I'm going to tell my daughter how much I love her. The last two years have been rough and very stressful on you. She's a very hard working woman. Never give up. I can't think of anyone who deserves to take time for themselves more than you. And I want you to know that I appreciate everything you do for us. Take the evening off. You deserve it. She deserves some time off. I'm so proud to call you my wife. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? That was very nice. <laughs> it feels good. I feel good, yeah. It's one of those things I know I need, I just never find the time. Caring for yourself is not different to caring for them. Definitely. Anyone who wants it, I feel they can have it, you know? Um, it might take time. For me personally, I'm, I'm going head first, no looking back. It's time for a change, you know, I just, I want it. Those few moments that you did spend in stillness today, how did they feel? They felt worth it. My intention with the Daily J is for you to spend seven minutes a day investing in yourself. And the Daily J is where meditation meets action. Our meditations will lead to takeaways, techniques, and tools that you can apply into your daily life as soon as you leave. Join me for the Daily J. It's seven minutes of inspiration and meditation that can transform your life. Try it with me today, only on Calm.